Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. My name is Doug Reed. I'm a writer. I'm an actor. I'm an improviser. And I'm also the artistic director of Madison, Wisconsin's venerable Broom Street Theater. You should come by and visit us at 1119 Williamson Street. Shows are Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 8 p.m. Oh, am I supposed to say something? Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to intro the show. And I'm going to answer 10 questions. There are conspiracy theorists who are so invested in the theory that Apollo 11 was faked that they've gone to the moon themselves to kill real astronauts to disprove the notion that humankind can go to the moon. Wheels within wheels. It's a conspiracy, I tell you. So, there you go. Oh my God, I love Popeyes. I, Papa. Uh, oh, but that, no, that isn't actually, I think my real secret shame is I have flown to California for an In-N-Out burger. And they're a horrible right-wing evil organization, and we all know that. But, oh my God, I love In-N-Out burgers. If you're not in California now, turn off your internet, fly to California, go to In-N-Out. In fact, if you do that, I'll buy. So if you're watching this, I will go with you to California for an In-N-Out. I will sell Sean Cairns to the Russians for an In-N-Out. I love In-N-Out burgers. Ah, uh, they're so good. I would impersonate, most of my impersonations are pretty topical. I do a good Bing Crosby. Uh, I can do Jimmy Durante, James Cagney, Bogart, all the classics. Uh, I would have been great on Weekend Update in like 1952. Oh, would you like to swing on a star, carry moonbeams home in a jar, and be better off than you are? Bubba, bubba, or would you rather be a fish? No. No, I'm trying. The worst, I think the worst one I would do would be so horribly stereotypical that it would cost me friends. And I do love my Norwegian friends, so I'm just not going to do that. Well, Doug is the past tense of dig. Uh, both partners have either a spade or a small shovel. And a reed, as you know, is the thing that you spit on in the end of a clarinet. Uh, so what you do, and this is, this is a hetero Doug Reed, uh, there are many varieties on this, is that one partner has a spade or shovel, and the other partner has a little, you know, the little papyrus clarinet end thing, and they, uh, yeah, she'll wet that on her tongue, and then I'll take the shovel. Hello? Hey, we're filming a podcast. That's okay. We we were off camera at the time. Uh, don't put the combination of the safe on the podcast. Beep, beep, beep. In the movie version of Batman, and I'm not talking about like like Tim Burton and later. I'm talking the movie version of Batman, Adam West and Burt Ward. Uh, in the Batcave, they have a bat molecular dust separator which is really handy because the UN gets disintegrated into little vials of dust, and then the dust gets mixed up. And so to save the UN, they have to run all of these, they have to run them through the bat molecular dust separator. Who wouldn't want a bat molecular dust separator? Am I right? And any Batman made after Adam West and Burt Ward broke up is illegitimate and doesn't count. Alabama. I, do I have to expound on the reasons that Alabama can just go suck it? 
Name one good thing that ever came out of Alabama. Not even the band Alabama. No, bunch of Handmaid's Tale, right-wing, evil, women-hating, homophobic. You know what? If there was a big earthquake and Alabama fell into the sea? Uh, hang on a second. Yeah, Alabama can sink into the sea as long as we put pontoons around all of the uh, Martin Luther King Jr. historical sites and the grave of Hank Williams Sr., which is in Montgomery. I once had a ham sandwich in the rain while sitting on Hank William Sr.'s grave uh, singing Your Cheatin' Heart. Your cheating heart will make you we Anyway, fuck you, Alabama. You're going in the ocean. Fucking Alabama. I don't have, oh, I don't have anything that could work for sit. never, okay. <laughs> uh, meditation and prayer and fasting and, and not listening to the voices and not ever doing what the voices tell me to do because Dr. Barnley says that the voices aren't my friends and, and Dr. Barnley gives me the yellow pills and lets me go out on Saturdays. So, th that's how. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> it's a metal pole, and it's got like a, a spike on one end that I can either use as a grappling hook or a, a weapon. And on this end, I've got a plunger. I've named it Zachary, after America's 12th president, Zachary Taylor, old rough and wet ready. He was a Whig, W-H-I-G. So that's Zachary. And Zachary and I are gonna survive. That was super fun. All right. Thanks for being a part that of That was fun. Yeah. Yeah.